Welcome to this last day of our five-day devotional on the glory of God. So let's summarize where we've been and then wrap it up with something really great. We were created for His glory and should live for His glory. That is to make Him look as glorious as He really is. Day two, we have all failed to do that. We've loved the glory of other things, especially of ourselves, more than we've loved the glory of God, and that's called sin. We're in big trouble. Day three, God didn't leave us to ourselves and our trouble. He sent his son into the world, and the goal of that was to vindicate his glory while saving people who had trampled his glory, and that's what the cross was about. Day four, you connect with that by faith alone in Jesus Christ and faith according to Romans 4.20 is what glorifies God because it makes him look trustworthy which brings us now to day five and the consummation of all things. God is going to succeed in the purpose for which he created the world. Habakkuk 2.14, the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord the way the waters cover the sea. All injustice, everything that belittles God, that ignores God, that tramples the glory of God down will be cast out into everlasting darkness and the only thing left will be those who magnify the glory of God. But there's more. Romans 8 talks about the creation itself. Um, Romans 8, uh, 18 following goes like this. I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing to the glory that will be revealed to us. For the creation waits with eager longing for the revealing of the sons of God. For the creation was subjected to futility, not of its own will, but by the will of him who subjected it in hope that the whole creation might be set free from its bond to decay, and here it comes, and inherit or receive the freedom of the glory of the children of God. The whole creation, so all the universe, all the planets, all the stars are going to receive the freedom of the glory of the children. That's us. So the, the creation is secondary. Human beings created in the image of God are primary. We are going to be glorified and brought into complete conformity to Jesus and then the creation is climactically going to be made suitable as a place for us. A new heavens and a new earth glorified for the children who are now glorious. We, according to Jesus in Matthew 13, 43, you will shine like the sun in the kingdom of your father. C.S. Lewis said that if we weren't sanctified, we would be tempted to bow down and worship one another in heaven. But we will know our God better in those days. And so, here's my closing word. If you are trying to live for the glory of God, and very few people are excited about what you're living for, you have a hope that one day this life of yours is going to be vindicated and you will be swallowed up in a new heaven and a new earth that will give you everlasting joy and everlasting vindication. So don't grow weary in trusting Jesus and day by day being conformed to his glorious life of love.